as we have always heard that it is the rich countries which are majorly responsible for the climate change and now the oxfam report which was recently published is also telling us that the carbon emissions is majorly done by the rich people of this planet hello and welcome to the in focus series section of drishti ias i am aisha singh and in today's video we will be talking about the oxfam report which tells us that the carbon emissions of the world's richest people that how much are they contributing to the carbon emission so first let us understand the timeline of the video first we will be looking at the news then up uh, what the oxfam report is saying then how was the research conducted or what are the parameters that has been taken into consideration then about the importance of the report and then the billionaires personal consumption emissions that how much are the rich people consuming or contributing to the carbon emissions for their own consumption then what can be done to curb these carbon footprints of the billionaires in the end a prelims mcq and a mains practice question this topic is of relevance from general studies paper 3 that is environment see from exam perspective you should be able to know that what oxfam report does and what how was the research conducted and what does the research say and this also becomes important to write as examples in your mains answer writing and also in essay so let's get started and see the news and the news has been taken from indian express and it says what an oxfam report says about carbon emissions of the world's richest people so there are three important things first is the oxfam report second is the carbon emissions and the most important point and third is the what the world's richest people are contributing to it or what are they doing to contribute to the carbon emissions so let's see that what has happened and we all we already know, know that the conference of parties that is cop27 is recently going on in egypt and so the topic of climate change or carbon emissions are already so much in news and to add to that the oxfam report has recently been published and which has been titled as carbon billionaires the investment emissions of the world's richest people so this is the title of the report that what the billionaires are contributing to the carbon emissions and it says that the world's richest people world's richest people or you can say that the 1% of the creamy layer or the wealthiest people of the world the world's richest people emit unsustainable amount of carbon as compared with an ordinary person so you can understand that if a word like unsustainable which is not even sustainable is written unsustainable is a very dangerous word in itself so it they are saying that the, it they are contributing or emitting unsustainable amount of carbon as compared to the ordinary or the normal people that they are contributing much more than what they should or they are supposed to do then every human on earth has a carbon footprint which can be divided into and the what does the word or the phrase carbon footprint means see carbon footprint means that when someone is contributing to carbon emissions or when someone is contributing to something and the opposite of carbon footprint is carbon handprint and handprint means when we are trying to uh, when we are trying to locate something see if imagine carbon footprint means that we are contributing carbon or we are contributing towards the carbon emission then carbon handprint would mean that we should also take some steps to reduce the carbon that we are emitting so that if carbon footprints means if we are emitting something then carbon handprint means we should be able or we should be responsible enough to take that thing ba back or to balance that thing and that is why there are two terms which is called carbon footprint or carbon handprint then every human on earth has a carbon footprint which can be divided into three parts and this carbon footprint is divided into three part that is personal consumption emission that what the person is consuming for personal basis on personal basis what they are doing then emissions through government spending what the government is spending and how much emissions are being done through that then emissions linked to 
investments so these are the three criteria on which the every human is doing a carbon footprint now let's come to what the oxfam report is saying so the analysis has been done and the investments of 125 of the world's richest billionaires was conducted so the analysis was done among the richest people and around 125 of the world richest people the study was conducted and has been found that billionaires are responsible for emitting 3 million tons of carbon a year so all the rich people are responsible for emitting 3 million tons of carbon a year which is more than a million times that the average for someone in the bottom 90% of humanity see we have taken 125 of world's richest people so that is not even 1% of the population so and there are then we com are comparing them to the 90% of the population that is the other population who are not as wealthy as these rich people then the rich people that is the 125 of world's richest people are contributing more than a million times the average for someone in the bottom 90% of humanity it means the 125 people or the 125 richest people of the world are contributing much more than what the other people or what the other ordinary or the common people is doing then 125 billionaires taken as sample fund about 939 million tons of carbon dioxide equivalent per year so you can imagine that how much these rich people are contributing to carbon emissions and these are the world's richest it means they will be responsible for large corporations they will be responsible for industries they will be responsible for mnc's and they are even consuming or emitting the carbon dioxide for personal consumption also which is equivalent to the annual carbon emissions of france okay see this line that 125 billionaires taken as sample this 125 billionaires are putting about 393 million tons of carbon dioxide equivalent per year which is equivalent to the annual carbon emissions of the whole of france it means they are in comparison with whole of a country they are these 125 billionaires are contributing what full country or as france is contributing then it would take 1.8 million cows to emit the same level of co2 as each of 125 billionaires so these are what the numbers in the oxfam report is saying see this 125 billionaires equivalent to annual carbon emissions of france can be a good example for you people to write then comes that how was the research conducted what the researchers have done is that the oxfam first listed the 220 richest people in the world based on the bloomberg billionaires list so on the basis of the bloomberg billionaires list first 220 richest people list was prepared and they also obtained emissions data from the data provider ericrica then they also identified the ownership of these billionaires in corporations and their emissions so see first the bloomberg billionaires list was taken then from them the 220 richest people list was prepared and they also obtained that how much are they contributing towards the carbon emissions and the data has been taken from exerica and then they also identified that how much is their cooperations contributing to carbon emissions and it has been divided into three scope that is scope 1 emission scope 2 emission and scope 3 emission so scope 1 emission says that there are a direct result of the company's operations so the direct result of the company's operations it means whatever the company is doing the direct impact is being put on then the scope 2 emission says that they constitute indirect emissions for example like energy to operate machine so first one was direct emissions and the second one is the indirect one 
then comes the scope 3 it says that emissions are other indirect emissions such as those resulting from a company's supply chain so the first scope was direct direct impact is being put on second is the indirect emissions and third are the other indirect emissions now let's come to the importance of the report that what is the importance or what is the relevant nature of the report that is that it talks about so first point is that billionaires hold significant wealth and stakes in globally recognized corporations see this becomes a problem when we are talking about the world's richest people then these richest people are someone who are responsible for majorly the all the big corporations or all the big industries and these big industries are what responsible for the majority of the carbon emissions so this is become this becomes a major problem that the significant wealth holders of the country are also the owners of the industries and the major corporations which hold the power to influence the ways in which those corporations behave so when a person is also the owner of the corporation it means the person also has the power in his or her hand to move the company as and when and whichever way they want then comes that people from low and middle income backgrounds do not exercise much control over their energy choices see if there is someone who is the owner of the con company and then there are other people like you and me who are working for a company so do we have the power to actually uh, change their policies and the way the company is working no we do not while on the other hand the people who are the ceos or the mds or the board of directors these are the people who have the power in their hands and these are the people who can actually be responsible for changing the policy making of the company and they can even uh, change the decisions which is taken by the other people in the company so these are the people who can actually make a change when it comes to looking after the environmental impact of carbon emissions that their industries or their corporations or their mncs are doing then comes that it is imperative for world leaders to ensure that those who emit the most carbon also do the most to reduce those emissions so this is the line which is majorly for even the rich countries or the rich people because they are the one who is responsible for contributing the most to the carbon emissions but they are not taking the responsibility to reduce it that much that how much they are producing they should also be responsible or they should also take the responsibility to reduce that much also like if they whatever footprint they are doing they should also be responsible for having that much handprint that if they are for i'll give you one example like for example you can take i'm giving a very simple one just to make you understand that like if a person is responsible for polluting i would say uh 10 liter of something then that person should also have the solution in his or her hand that he or she should be able to overcome or should be able to handle or should be able to reduce whatever the person is whatever the person is expanding or whatever the person is contributing or whatever the person is polluting or whatever emissions the person is doing so if the person is able to send 10 liters of something then the person should also be able to take down that 10 liters of something because then also the balance would be maintained but if we will be polluting more or if we will be sending more emissions and we are not reducing it then the imbalance would come and things will not be in place the, at that point of time because something is going on at a very higher pace while on the other hand the other thing is not happening then the conduct of investors in the global e economy impacts our environment the investors or the rich people or the billionaires need to focus on that it is their behavior which is actually contributing or which is actually harming which is actually impacting the environment and the other people who are not that influential in nature or the poor countries or the small island nations also 
then the decisions made by the investors whether to invest in cooperations failing to reduce carbon emissions or to fund fossil fuel and similar industries can further determine the intensity of future emissions so it becomes the responsibility of the rich and the elite class people that they should be responsible or they should take the responsibility that whichever cooperations they are part of they will handle it with utmost dignity and credibility that they should take the responsibility for looking after that whatever the cooperation is doing should, the cooperation should also take the responsibility of whatever they are emitting or whatever carbon emissions they are doing to the environment because their carbon emissions what they are doing to the environment is also impacting the people or the countries who are not contributing those emissions to the environment see imagine uh, i'll take, give you one more example on the on one hand we have a very small island nations which do not have any industries in it but are these nations not suffering from whatever the rich people are doing or the rich countries are doing no they are also suffering because they are also living on the same globe or the same earth so whatever is happening in the environment it is the people who are not contributing to it but are also suffering because of it so it becomes the responsibility of the people who are sending those emissions into the environment that they need to look after the people or the country or the small island nation or the poor or the marginalized people that they take the responsibility that they will look after their well being now let us come to billionaires personal consumption emissions then apart from investment by billionaires their personal consumption also adds up because on personal level also they use things which adds up to the carbon emissions then in 2018 emissions from the private yacht planes helicopters and mentions of 20 billionaires generated on an average about 8194 tons of carbon dioxide so this tells us that on on personal consumption level also the billionaires are having those habits which are adding on to the carbon emissions then uh, we also know that the world's richest are also are also having a fight that who will travel to the space first and the single space flight can emit as much carbon dioxide as a normal person will in their lifetime so even if once even for a very single time the rich person goes to a flight that single flight will emit that much of carbon emissions that a normal person would emit in its or her his or her lifetime then in 2021 the oxfam and the stockholm environment institute says that the richest 1% of people alone were responsible for 15% of cumulative emissions so because these 1% the 1% of the richest people are the owner of almost every big corporations and that is why they are is responsible for around 15% of cumulative emissions these points will become important for you to write it as examples in your answer writing practice and also in essays also these will be helpful for you then emitting 35 times the level of co2 compatible with the 1.5 degree celsius by 2030 goal of the paris agreement so the paris agreement has given us a goal that we need to stop the climate change or the global warming and and the temperature should remain at around 1.5 degree celsius and below 2 degree celsius the temperature should be below 2 degree celsius so this is the deadline which paris agreement has given to us now let us talk about that what can be done to curb the carbon footprint what steps can be taken so that the carbon footprint of these billionaires or the world's richest can be ta ta tackled then corporations are failing to cut emissions and avert climate change because the corporations have to also work so they are not able to control it then to make the 2050 climate change plans of net zero which does not look on its way to be completed on time then no state in the world compels corporates to reduce their carbon footprints it becomes all the more uh, important for the governments of a country to actually 
tell that rich people or to compel them that they also need to take certain measures so that the carbon emissions which is done by their companies or the corporations can also be reduced then it only becomes the responsibility of governments to create climate policies while on the other hand the private players should also take responsibility with the government that the public sector private sector civil societies all should come together and work in one hand then the aim to set strong and binding greenhouse gases reduction targets and demand greater transparency then these greenhouse gases reduction targets should also be taken up by the big corporations then a wealth tax very important point a wealth tax on the rich can also be imposed that if the person is earning from doing carbon emissions and hurting the environment then that person needs to pay for it also then the wealth tax would be something that the, if the person is earning from it then they should be able to give back also then the government should also include workers rights protection of their livelihood and that of marginalized communities who are adversely affected by climate change see i have already told you that not every uh, nation is what is contributing to the carbon emissions there are many small island nations also which are not contributing but they are suffering so the workers rights protection of their livelihood and marginalized communities is something that the rich countries can look for and can give it to the small island people now let's come to a prelims mcq and i've given you an easy one and this, but this is a very important one too so the india aims to reach net zero by 2050 2060 2070 2080 20, and you people need to tell me the answer in the comment section then comes the last aspect that is the mains practice question it is a 10 marker question and it says that what oxfam report says about carbon emissions of the world's richest people so the recently released november edition of the oxfam report what does it say so that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading and keep writing